Terrence, you called the show. Why are you here? I'm here because I have a 13-year-old daughter. She um, is out of control. She's been smoking weed. She's been drinking. She's been disrespecting her mom. She's getting referrals. She's getting suspended. She's snorting, uh, I, I heard, air dust. She's um, fighting her mom. A couple of days ago, they had a physical altercation. And uh, it just, she's out of control. She's been having sex. She's been cutting herself. She's 13 years old and she's having sex? She's 13. And how do you know that? In uh, 08, she was 12. And her mom called me. I live in Florida. Her mom called me and said that Kendra had sex with a 16-year-old guy. You know, and I asked her, have you talked to the parents? What have you done? She's like, well, um, I haven't talked to them yet. I've been real busy. Like that. I said, well, you need to go talk to the parents or call the cops to do something like that. You know? <laughs> Your daughter's 12 years old. You know? And so she didn't do anything. She didn't do anything, man. So I called. I got on Google, and I Googled in the department, the push department where she lives at, and I talked to the guy, and I sent the guy. Well, I told Kendra first, my daughter, before I called, I mean, before I told her, I said, look, I'm going to call the police. She said, um, if you do, I'll never speak to you again, you know? And uh, she told me that she would hate me, whatever, but I ended up calling him anyway and couldn't find out that the um, police said that in Oklahoma, there's really no statutory rape, I mean, law, whatever, by him being 16. Yeah, but you can't have sex with a 12-year-old. I know, you know, and uh, things have been real rough for me. I live in Florida, like I say, and uh, she's always calling me, saying that mom's doing this, mom's doing that, you know, they're arguing. She said, mom, always on my space all the time. Mom doesn't spend time with her. Kendra don't want to come with me because Kendra knows I'm real strict, whatever, and Dina, Dina, she's a good person, man, but she's not really strict at all, you know what I mean? She got to put her foot down. She never puts her foot down. She laughs and stuff, you know? Getting, and you know, is that a big part of the problem? I think so. Kendra cuts herself, and she just does all kind of stuff. She cuts herself. Sometimes on her wrist, you know? And, and she's, I feel she's, I don't know. I feel she's just reaching out for attention, Steve, man. How dare you, you lying You lying Watch your language. How dare you, Terry? Make me look like an idiot in front of all I'm these not people. Like an idiot, Dina. I'm leaving you gotta I'm going put your home. foot down. Well, this is, if this is about your daughter, don't you want to talk to him about it? Yes, I talk to him all the time about it. He's making it look like it's all me. Dina, you always call me. I asked you. I've asked you and asked you and asked you for the six years that we've been there to come get her. You always say you're going to come get her. You never showed up, never called, never nothing. How dare you? Dina, that's not true, Dina. How that's not dare true. you? For a long time. Why, why, Dina, Dina, Dina. Dina. Don't talk to me. Don't talk to me. Dina, I'm not trying to you know down talk shut to you up, on Terry. national television. Honey. Yes, you did. I'm just saying, don't, honey. No, you don't shut even, up. Dina, you don't put your foot down about a daughter or anything, honey. This is our you, child. You ain't even she, there, Terry. Dina, she told me last week. She, See, you told I me last week. I knew I should have brought I knew it. Dina, you told me last week that you that she found weed under your mattress. Yes, under her mattress. Dina, she sees her mattress. Smoke weed. She's so watching what? you. But you calling me saying I was done smoking weed, but you're smoking in front of her. Do you want help for your daughter? Yes, I want help for my daughter. And you want help for your daughter? All I want is help for my daughter. All right. Steve, I love I'm my daughter, bring, man. Uh, listen. I want her to go you home with him. Listen. I want him to okay. see what it's like to you know do what? it by yourself. She's not going to change over back because of me, Dina. She need help first. That's why I, I call the show, man. I she wanna, need help. I want to bring her out and talk to her. And then will you come out after I talk to her? I'm going to stay right here. OK, you stay right there. But I'm going to talk to your daughter. How you doing, Kendra? 13 years old? Yeah. Life is good or? No? It can be. And what's uh, preventing you from having a good life? Just me going out, doing drugs, having sex, being rude okay. and disrespectful. Why are you having sex though at, at 13 years old? I mean, it's just, it's crazy. Your mother's not putting a stop to it. Your dad seems like he wants to put a stop to it, but he's a long way away. And then I hear you're cutting yourself. Why are you cutting yourself? Because I'm just sick of, like, always arguing with my mom. Like, we never get okay. along. Oh, but why, 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 why are you cutting yourself, though? That, that, I don't understand that. Because that's just what I felt like doing. If, like, anything happened in my life that I didn't like if people talk about me. I just feel like taking it out on myself. All right. 
obviously there's there's other issues at hand. I don't, I mean, I know me by me saying, I don't want you doing it. I don't know if that's gonna help, but I just see a young, beautiful girl and I don't want you doing that to yourself. And uh, after the show, I know we definitely need to get you in counseling and get you some professional help so you don't do that. I just wish that there was an adult in your life that was, I don't know if your mom's doing the right job, because you seem like, you don't, you don't seem like I get children on my show and they're rebellious and they're acting out, but it, it, seems, like, it seems like you're a pretty nice girl and you just don't have a lot of guidance in your life. What's, uh, what's the relationship like with your father? I mean, we don't really get to see each other because he lives so far away. I mean, we just talk on the phone every once in a while. That's all we do is just talk on the phone. And what does your dad say to you when he talks to you? Just like, you know, you need to come with me. Your mom can't handle you. You're doing all this stuff. So your dad does say you need to be with him? Yeah. And when he tells you that, what do you say? Just like, I don't want to. I don't want to go with him. All right, let's bring your dad back out. I mean, your daughter's saying that she's living at home. Her mom is, you know, doesn't sound like she's being on top of things here. You need to run through the brick wall for your daughter here. I, I want to. 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 I love her. I love you. You know I love you. I love you. I talk to you all the time and I always tell you this, that I love you. And you get mad at me because you know that dad is no stricter than mama. That's why you don't come live with daddy. I didn't know your mom does do that, honey. I don't do anything. I've been clean for going on 14 years. You know I'm in college. I'm trying to better myself. You know what I mean? You know that. I love you, Kendra. No matter who I live with, she got to come with me, Steve. I just need some kind of, she got to come with me, man. I love you. Give me a hug. I love you. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Please stop. Please, please stop hurting yourself. You know you're a beautiful young girl, OK? Anybody in this audience, everyone will line up and tell you the same damn thing. <laughs> you're not ugly, you're the farthest thing from ugly. You're a beautiful young girl who needs some guidance in your life. And you're saying you want to be there for her, Dad, right? Yes. Stop making excuses. Stop saying about, oh, I'm in college, I'm living with somebody. You want to be there for her? You want to take care of her? Yes, I do. You want to straighten her out? Yes, I do. All right, this is what I'm going to do. We're going to set you up an apartment. I'm going to help you with the first month's rent. Thank you, man. You said it, man. We're gonna help your dad get a place, get a nice apartment so you can stay with him, so you can stop cutting yourself. You're gonna stop doing drugs. You're gonna stop having sex. You're 13 years old. We're gonna get you counseling. We're gonna make sure you get into school. We're gonna make sure that you do the things that you need to straighten out your life. Your dad cares about you. Your mom does too. But your dad really wants you to be in his life. And I think he's here and he, he wants to make a difference, and we're going to help him make a difference and get your life. Because you know what? You keep going on the path you're going, and it's not going to be good. Your dad knows it. Your mom knows it. Everybody knows it. Everybody watching the show knows it. We don't want to see you throw your life away, all right? Are you ready to go with your dad? Yeah. Let's go. <laughs>